started. Amen. God is good. Let's keep on evangelizing. Amen. Let's let people know, invite people to come. Uh, we've been committed going out uh, every Sunday at 11 o'clock, uh, hitting up different places in San Bernardino. You know, we've been uh, targeting this one apartment where uh, they've been some shootings there. Yeah. You know, there's been a few people that died out there in those apartments. And, uh, you know, we believe that God has called us to be the remedy, that God has called us to be the salt of the earth Amen. and the light of the world. And it was a blessing to see uh, families come out, you know, and for us to minister to them. But we're committed to that. Amen. We're going to continue to do that every Sunday. So keep us in, par in prayer. Amen. Yeah, okay. But let's also invite people. Amen. Because this is a work that God's doing. You know, we're bringing the word. We're, we're, we're coming here uh, having, having uh, an awesome service. And we want people to get blessed. Amen. Amen. That's why we're doing this. Amen. We believe that God is, is, is calling more people. Uh, to come to his house to worship him. Amen? Amen. Let's go ahead and open up in a word of prayer. Father, we worship you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We give you the glory. We give you the praise, Father. You yes, alone, Lord. you alone deserve the glory. Yes, Father. You alone deserve the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, Father. We thank you, Father God. We thank you that you're a good, good God. You're a good, good God. We love you. We worship you. We praise you, and I pray, Father, anoint this word. Yes, Lord. I pray that you would speak to many people, Father. I pray that you will give me your words yes, Lord. that are full of power, that you would touch your people, that you would open up their minds, their hearts, and reveal to them that they are powerful, that they are your powers, that you have called them to raise the standard, to raise the standard, to be the resistance, to stand, to make an impact. Your word says in Isaiah 60, arise, shine, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For now is your time. And Father, I pray, bless this word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God is good. We're going to go ahead and read in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. The book of Ephesians chapter 6. Amen. <clears throat> And what I want to talk about today, I'm not going to take, you know, too too long. I know it's uh, a little hot today, amen. But I'm going to get right to the point, amen. So, just you know, give me give me uh, 30 minutes of your time, amen. And I believe God is going to speak to you, but it's going to be in Ephesians chapter six, ten. And what I want to what I want to talk about today is that God will give you. Favor in the famine. Everybody say, let me say, God, God will give me favor, give favor in the famine. Yeah. Then I'm going to talk about God will give us favor yeah. in the flood. Yeah. And God will give us favor in the fire. Yeah. Can I get an amen? amen? See, we need to know that God is on our side. Amen. That makes all the difference. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? When we get a revelation that the Lord is on our side. Amen? amen. You know, whenever uh, I, I get into a scuffle or a battle or if I have enemies... I have a peace because I know that the Lord is on my side. Can I get an amen? amen? So you need to know that no matter what you're going through, that the Lord is on your side. Amen? amen. amen. And Apostle Paul, he had a spirit of a warrior. Mm -hmm. He was a mighty man of God. And he, he was speaking this word, amen, in the book of Ephesians. 
And he was encouraging the people to be strong in the Lord. Amen. 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 And it says here, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Yeah. And that word strong in in the Greek is udan udanamo udano which which um you know where we get that word dunamis it's en dunamo and it's it's an en added to dunamis and that word dunamis is a word that comes uh from the book of acts where the holy spirit was about to give power to the disciples and that word power means dunamis. Say dunamis. Yeah, dunamis. Dunamis. And that's where we get also this word. These words are connected together. It's u. Excuse me. It's en dunamo. En dunamo. Yes. There you go. And and it's the same thing as dunamis. Amen. And what dunamis means? It means miracle working power. Empowered. See, God wants to empower us, but when it talks about to be strong, listen to this. It means to increase in strength. Amen. Please forgive me, Amen, because I'm, I'm I'm trying to expound the definition, Amen, and I'm still trying to figure it out, Amen. So, you know, I'm, I'm putting this puzzle together, but you know, stick with me because I believe that God is going to encourage you today. So here the word of God is saying for us to be strong, but understanding the Greek meaning, it means to increase in strength. Right. right. Amen? Amen. Every time I see a Deacon Jerry, he asks me if I'm going to the gym. Amen? Yeah. Amen. And he knows that I'm going to the gym because he notices that I'm increasing in muscle. Yeah. Increasing in strength. Yeah. Amen? Right. And that's what the Lord is calling us to do, is that he's, in, he's calling us to grow, say grow. grow. To grow, grow in strength. Right. See, let me ask you this. Are you growing? Yeah. See, in this season, we are to we are not to shrink back, but we are to grow in the things of God. And if we're gonna grow strong, that means we need to exercise. Yeah. Amen. Right. You need to be in it to win it. You, you know, a person who's training.
Kratos means word. Amen. And here Paul is teaching us to be, to be, to increase in strength. Amen. In the Lord and in the power of his might. That word power means word. So you're saying increase in strength in the word. Say yeah. word. See, God's word has power. Yeah. You know, I'm not just reading to you some children's book. Amen. I'm not just reading to you some book, uh, some college book, amen, or just some ordinary mm -hmm. book. The Bible says that we get power in God's word, amen? amen. When we hear the word, we are believing that God is increasing us with more power, yeah. that he's enduing us with power, mm -hmm. that he's strengthening us with power. Yeah. You know, last week I was teaching that we need to fight power with power. See, what's coming against this world and what's coming against the people is power. Say power. 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 And in order for us to overcome, we need to fight power with power. Yeah. But we need to understand that God has given us power. Yeah. Did you know that you have power mm -hmm. over all the power of the enemy? Can I get an amen? amen. amen. God has given you power. True. Hello? Are you listening to me? Yeah. A police officer has authority because a police officer has knowledge that he's been empowered. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Wow. Amen. So authority is information. And we just read that God wants us to stand strong. He wants us to increase in strength in his word. Because it's his word, the knowledge, come on, the, the information of his word yeah. that gives us power mm -hmm. over the power of the enemy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Do you have authority today? Yeah. Yes. Come on, is it, yes. I hope the enemy's not slapping you around. See, when you have the power yeah. of God's word in you, mm -hmm. then you have power over the adversary. Yeah. Amen? Amen. That's what the Word of God is teaching us. In the power of His might, put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wells of the devil. So we need to understand that we're fighting a devil. Amen? Yeah. And we're in a battle with the enemy. Can I get an amen? See, what's coming up against you, it's not natural. It's supernatural. Yeah. What's coming against your home, amen. What's coming against your mind, yeah. it's not natural.
power. It's a spirit, it could even be a person, that is attacking a nation. Or a governing power. Amen? Yeah, right. Or a governor. Oh, did, did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. But the enemy, amen? Amen. Could come in to attack God's people. And it says here a principality. So that's what a principality is. Amen. It's a governing power. Amen. Amen. Then it says powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. So we understand that all this attack is coming from the devil, the enemy. Amen. But let's look up what powers means. Amen. The word powers here comes from a Greek word, which is exousia. Amen. And it means magistrate superhuman influence authority power strength amen and what's what Paul was talking about was that the enemy was using people but people who were empowered by the enemy yeah amen Uh, you, you have a purpose to grow in the knowledge, to, to, to gain information in that purpose that God has for you. Amen? Amen. Because God wants to use you in, in, in this time, but he wants us to increase. 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 Increase, increase. in strength. Amen? And I believe that in this time, you know, God is going to begin to use many people. Amen? He's going to use many people. He's going to empower them. And I believe that God is going to raise up many attorneys. Amen. He's going to get an amen. People that are going to get fed up with the enemy. They're going to get fed up with the deception. They're going to get fed up with the nonsense. I believe that God is going to raise up many business people. Amen. They're going to get right. tired of the enemy messing with their business. And they're going to raise up with great power with great knowledge yeah, gonna get, right, amen. Right. they're going to know what they're talking about there's going to be people out there that you're going to do your research and you're going to increase in knowledge you're going to increase in information and god is going to use you there's some people out there that you have knowledge amen you have the information right. you know the truth amen you haven't fallen for the okie doke but you're still in hiding yeah amen you, you haven't came out amen you're you, you know the truth, but you haven't came out yet. Amen? Right, right. But the Word of God says here that we are to take a step. Amen? Matter of fact, if you're...
that are going to grow in their information. Amen. They're going to grow in the word of God. And it's going to be many people that we didn't expect, but they're going to rise up because God is going to use them to make an impact. Amen. Just like Paul. Paul was a man of authority. He was a man of knowledge. He was a man of information. He was an educated man. He was a Pharisee. But I believe in this time, doctors are going to wake up. See, there's some doctors out there. There's some teachers out there. There's some attorneys out there. Amen. There's some police officers out there that God is calling you to be noticed. God is calling you to stand out. Amen. You know the truth. Amen. And God wants you to stand out. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to be noticed. Yeah. Amen. The word of God tells us, it commands us, it charges us to be strong and courageous. Can I get an amen? amen? See, whenever God gets ready to do something, he expects us to be strong and courageous. Amen. See, we understand that there is a virus out there. Amen. Uh, we understand that it's out there. Amen. But how many know that the spirit of fear is a midget? That magnifies itself. Hello. Yeah. That the spirit of fear is a liar. Yeah. And that it magnifies itself. I mean, it makes itself look bigger than what it is. Amen. It's true. You don't have to worry about putting on your mask, amen? Right, right. But if you know that you know, you're know you in a, an environment that you need to protect yourself, by all means, protect yourself, but you don't have to be in hiding. Hello. Right, okay. We don't have to be in hiding. Mm -hmm. we, just, we just need to be covered. Say covered. Cover. We just need to be covered. Cover. Because God wants to use our life, amen? So I want to encourage the new people, amen? I believe there's new people that God is calling you to step out of the darkness, to step out of the shadows, to come out of the closet, amen? God has equipped you. You are equipped with knowledge and information. And now is the time to be noticed. Now is the time to stand, amen? Though we're living in a dark time, though the world is covered in darkness, though people are blind and confused, though people are, are afraid, amen, though we live in a time of all types of different beliefs, amen, the word of God says in Isaiah 60, to arise, shine, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you, amen. amen. Darkness covers the people and gloomy darkness covers the people, but God's glory rises upon you, amen. This is the time that God is calling you to take a stand and to station yourself in the word of God and to grow in the knowledge of authority to understand that God has given you power. Yeah. See, because...
But the word of God teaches us that Jesus is the lion of Judah. Can I get an amen? It's one lion fighting another lion. Amen. See, you need to have another perception of who you are. We are not the government's sheep. Amen. We are God's sheep. Can I get an amen? amen. And you got to understand this is that one sheep is greater than a hundred wolves of the enemy. Yeah. It's greater than a thousand wolves of the enemy. Yeah. One of God's sheep is going to get an amen. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're not just sheep. God wants us to grow into shepherds. Are you listening to me? And what a shepherd does, a shepherd protects the young. It protects yeah. the flock. The shepherd keeps its eyes open. Amen. The shepherd, the shepherd has a staff and it has a blade. Are you listening to yeah. me? So that when a wolf comes, the shepherd is not a not scared of the wolf, but the shepherd is trained to kill the wolf. Yeah. The shepherd is trained to kill the bear, and the shepherd is trained to kill the lion. Amen. I'm speaking in a metaphor. This is what I'm saying, is that a shepherd has power over the wolves. Yeah. Can I get an amen? amen? Why does he have power? Because that is his position. He has knowledge, amen? He understands who he is. He knows who he is, amen? And he understands his position is not to flee when the wolf comes, amen? amen. His position is to station himself and to protect the flock. Come on, I'm amen. speaking to some shepherds out there, amen? God has not called you to shrink back. God has called you to be front line, amen? But Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego refused to bow to this idol, amen? Because they understood that they were to only bow to God, that they were only to worship the Lord, amen? So these three men, they took a stand. They took a stand. They took a stand. They stood for God, and they didn't bow when the music was playing. The enemy wasn't happy, amen? amen? But everybody else was bowing down. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. But these three men didn't bow because they had knowledge. Say knowledge. knowledge. They had information. And information is authority. Yeah. Amen? They had power. And they knew that God was with them. They knew that God was going to protect them. They knew that God would deliver them and if they didn't get delivered, they knew that God was going to take them up to heaven. Amen. It was a win-win situation. And the Bible says that, that the king got so upset that he tied up those men and he threw them in the fire. See the fire. He threw them in the fire. And when these men got thrown in the fire, because they stood for God, they didn't burn. Can I get an amen? See, there's some of you that you might be going through the fire, but you're not going to get burned. Yeah. Amen? And here, as the king was looking, he was, he was looking at Meshach, Shadrach.
And so here, they come out of the fire, and the king was astonished, and the king gave them favor. And and because because they got blessed, amen. The Bible says that the king gave them wealth, the king gave them prosperity, the, the king raised them up, the king gave them favor because they stood for the Lord, but their enemies got burned in the fire. So I want to encourage you that God is going to give you favor in the fire. And then we go into another story of Joseph. I mean, he was just one person that got betrayed by his brothers, but he stood faithful to the dream that God gave him. So vamos a hablar de José y él fue fe al, al sueño que Dios le había dado. prison and and the king of that time had a dream but Joseph had the answer because because he trusted God he stood faithful to God no matter what he was going through and God used him to speak into the king's life in a time of famine. God blessed him. God prospered him. God gave him favor in the famine. And God is able to do that for us. Amen. And then we go into the story of Noah. Y luego vamos a la de Noé. That Noah walked with God. Y Noé con Dios. The Bible says that God looked at the world. La de Dios dice que Dios miró al mundo. And he looked at the hearts of men. Y él los del and that the imagination of men. Y que la del was only evil. Era solamente, uh, and, it, and it grieved God. That his creation was that way. So God decided to bring a flood upon the earth.
Her blood came. So cuando vino a uh, la unación, God gave Noah favor. Dios le dio a Noé favor. Favor in the flood. Favor cuando envió el mundo. So I want to encourage you this day today. Les quiero dar ánimo este día ahora. To take a stand for the Lord. Que se paren firme para Dios. To station yourself in God's word. Que se estacionen adentro de la palabra de Dios. To grow in the knowledge of God's word. Que, que crezcan en la sabiduría de la palabra de Dios. Because information Porque información is power. Es poder. Information información is authority. Es autoridad. And God wants to give us power y Dios nos quiere dar poder over the enemy. Sobre el enemigo. See, Jesus told his disciples Jesus, le dijo a sus to wait for him que a Dios. until they are endued Hasta que ellos estén with the power del poder of the Holy Spirit. Santo. Jesus told his disciples, apart from me, Jesus le dijo a sus de mí, you can't do nothing. No hacer nada. See, if you've been trying to do your business without God, and nothing's happened Nada está pasando. it's not supposed to happen no debe de pasar. see because if you do it with God Porque si lo haces con Dios, God promises Dios promete to be with you que va a estar contigo. see I want to encourage you Les quiero dar ánimo to do it Jesus said, you don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about your clothes. You don't have to worry about if your shoe has a hole in it. Amen. You don't have to worry about your car. You don't have to worry about uh, where you're going to get your food at. God promises to bring the increase. See, are you putting God first today? We must put God first if we want to see God's best in our life. But I believe that in this time, God is calling us not to be afraid. He's commanding us not to be afraid. He's commanding us to be strong and courageous because He will give us the power what comes against us. It could be supernatural. It could be the devil. It could be uh, powers. But we need to know that God has given us power. We need to tap into that power. We need to put on that power.
powers that are coming against the world. La palabra, la palabra de Dios dice que tenemos que poner la armadura de Dios porque hay cosas que van a venir contra el mundo en este tiempo. But, but the word of God says that he has given us dunamis power. Pero la palabra de Dios dice que nos ha dado un poder que se llama dunamis. Which means God's miracle working power. Que quiere decir el, po el poder de milagros de Dios. Powers. Poderes. This is what I'm saying. Eso es lo que estoy diciendo. Is that you are a power. Que tú eres un poder. You are a power. Tú eres un poder. You poder. are a child of God. Tú eres un hijo de Dios. That God is calling you to stand. Que Dios está llamando que te pares. Not to hide. Que no te escondas. But to be noticed. Pero que resaltes, que resplandezcas. To be noticed. Que puedas resplandecer. Because God is going to use you. Porque Dios te quiere, te va a usar. As a resistance Como una against the enemy. Contra el See, the Bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that God will raise up a standard. Amen. Everybody say, I am that standard. Yo soy esa I de amen. The, the Bible Amen. The Bible says that there was a war when Moses had a war with Amalek. And that God told Moses You're always going to be at war with your mind. You're always going to be at war with your flesh. You're, you're always going to be in a battle. But raise up the banner of praise. Continue to praise the Lord. Because out of your praise. God is going to give you victory. No matter what's coming against the world. No matter what principality. No matter what governing power. No matter what government. That God will give us the victory. But he's not going to give us the victory. If we're just sitting down. We need to take a stand. And we need to praise the Lord. We need to change the frequency. We need to change the tide of the battle. And we need to raise our voice. We need to grow in the things of God. We need to grow in the word of God. We need to grow in our purpose. And we need to raise our voice. We need to exalt the Lord. Because we still serve the God. That will give us favor in the famine. He'll give us favor.
Pero tenemos que saber quiénes somos. Que tenemos la victoria. We have we, a victory. We need to know who we are. We have to know who we are. Que tenemos poder. That we have power. Con Dios. With God. Sin Dios. No Without tenemos God, nada. Pero con Dios God, somos guerreros. We are warriors. With God we are warriors. Con Dios somos guerreros. Come on, Gideon. Ándale, Gideon. The Lord is with you. Señor está contigo. The Lord is on your side. Señor está a tu lado. This is the time that God is calling us este to step. Es el tiempo que Dios nos está llamando que nos paremos. See, God is calling you now. Dios te está llamando ahorita. Amen. Este I momento. believe that God is calling many. He, he's calling many different people amen he's calling Dios attorneys he's calling doctors gente. he's calling Doctores, teachers he's calling apostles he's calling bishops amen he's calling people even in the government amen he's calling them to stand to be noticed to be noticed to be noticed amen but if you need to put on a worship song what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and worship amen Y vamos a hacer ahorita, vamos a orar y vamos a creer que Dios va a dar a los otros poder ahorita. Amen. Amen. Porque poder viene de Dios. Sí. And God is going to give us strength. Amen. Father, we just praise you. Amen. Yes. And if you know this word is for you, I just want you to receive. Amen. Just, just. He empowered Peter and prospered Peter with his job, with his business. And I believe God is going to empower you. No matter what's going on in the world, just know that God is with you. Oh, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. We praise you, Jesus. Give us power, give us power. Give us strength. Thank you, Jesus. And if you need if you need prayer today, just come on up. And yeah, we'll pray with you, amen. Because God is with you. Él ha venido a darte la victoria. He has come to give you the victory. La victoria está ganada por Jesucristo. The victory is already won through Jesus Christ. En la cruz, Él ganó la victoria. Esa cruz fue para nosotros. The cross of Christ gave us the victory. And that victory was for us individually. 
La corona de espinas coronó nuestro rey. The crown 